Our planet has changed in ways that has a profound impact on all of humankind. The damage is for all to see. Hundreds of thousands of lives lost, ecosystems destroyed, species driven to extinction. The Earth is dying. It is time to reverse the trend, reverse the damage and embrace sustainability. As one of the world's largest energy behemoths, ONGC has a vital role to play. Maharatna ONGC has been steering the movement of the United Nations Global Compact Program in India since the beginning, a testimony of its unwavering promise of good corporate citizenship. As you know, sustainable growth also means following the principles of triple bottom line, that is people, planet and profit. Therefore, care of planet is an important aspect of uh, sustainable growth. In ONGC, we do it by containing our eco footprint through very effective water and carbon management. And that is done through initiatives of arresting fugitive emissions, rainwater harvesting, desalination of seawater and other energy efficient initiatives. Our sustainability focus also emphasizes in our working with the communities, government, non-government and in fact all the stakeholders to work safely and responsibly. ONGC demonstrates its commitment towards sustainability through Carbon Management and Sustainability Group, which has a wide and encompassing mandate. Carbon management and sustainable development are very important aspects in today's context of global warming. Uh, we are very proud to have a full organized structure and corporate level commitment to manage both the issues effectively. Uh, we endeavor to collaborate with international agencies to find new ways and means to optimize the resource uses by improving energy efficiency as well as to reduce our carbon footprints. We also endeavor uh, at our own organizational level to find the new avenues for reducing our uh, footprints through bioremediation, using the new techniques of uh, microbial applications as well as uh, new R&D endeavors. Climate change is a global challenge and is considered the greatest sustainability threat of the 21st century. The greenhouse gas, GHG, emissions that cause climate change are emitted mainly from burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas. Sustainable growth, therefore, requires companies to track their performances and ensure that their actions do reduce their GHG emissions. ONGC's approach towards sustainable growth is primarily through carbon management and low carbon growth. ONGC is inspired by the Prime Minister's National Action Plan on Climate Change. ONGC's working model of achieving sustainable development through carbon management has been a driver of change in many sectors of the Indian industry. On the 53rd Foundation Day of ONGC in 2008, ONGC adopted the mission of attaining carbon neutrality in a sustainable manner. The first step was to develop the carbon footprint, that is, a list of the sources of the GHG emissions and their quantities, and then develop an action plan of mitigation. ONGC has completed its corporate-wide carbon footprint study, covering 427 facilities, and has devised a detailed action plan for carbon neutrality. An important contributor towards the low carbon growth is the arrest of fugitive emission under the Methane to Market Partnership. ONGC was a trailblazer among the non-American oil companies way back in 2007, when it signed an MOU with United States Environment Protection Agency to undertake field-based leak detection and measurement of fugitive methane in its production facilities. A core team has completed leak detection and measurement of hydrocarbon at more than 60 ONGC key installations. ONGC's formal journey towards carbon management began in 2005. The visionary chairman, late Subir Raha, understood the potential of the Kyoto Protocol and the clean development mechanism under Kyoto Protocol to combat climate change through GHG mitigation. 
ONGC's success in CDM project development is unprecedented in India and is one of the greatest in the world. ONGC has 10 registered CDM projects with two more due for registration in 2013. The biggest success, the registration of 726 megawatt gas-based power project of ONGC Tripura Power Corporation, which will fetch a whopping 1.6 million carbon credits per annum for over 10 years, has been fated by President Pranab Mukherjee. The journey is continuing unabated. ONGC's quest towards low carbon growth goes beyond its organizational boundaries. As a good corporate citizen, ONGC has steered and sponsored Petrotech 2010 and the upcoming Petrotech 2014 as a carbon neutral event. ONGC's sustainability pursuit includes sustainable water management as well through four R doctrines reduce, reuse, recycle, and replenish. ONGC has started a comprehensive water mapping of its onshore facilities. The feasibility of setting up a 20 MLD seawater desalination plant at Uran Processing Complex to meet its freshwater requirements is being studied. On the recycle front, ONGC's Mehsana asset has established infrastructure to control the expenses and non-optimal usage of natural resources. Rainwater harvesting is another area where ONGC is working aggressively. Rainwater harvesting, to store the rainwater for groundwater recharge or local usage, is being practiced along all major work centers of ONGC. ONGC took a monumental leap in the year 2009-2010, when it commenced communicating its environmental performance. ONGC is committed to continuing the process of sustainability reporting with incremental coverage of environmental and social performance indicators. ONGC is aware of its responsibility as the most valued Maharatna. ONGC has taken on to itself the onerous task of sensitizing its vendors about the virtues of sustainable growth. It has developed a corporate policy on greening vendor chain and will gradually move towards green procurement policy. ONGC is constructing five green buildings to house its offices. The buildings are designed on sustainable and environment-friendly architectural concept, resulting in environment protection water conservation, energy efficiency, usage of recycled products and renewable energy. No wonder ONGC has received numerous awards and recognitions galore. The numerous initiatives have started showing exemplary results. In 2012-2013, the GHG consumption reduced by 5% and fresh water consumption by 15%. Our journey towards sustainable growth has already begun. As part of Perspective Plan 2030, as we grow, the pace of sustainable development has to be maintained. To contain the overall carbon footprint of ONGC, number of activities have been taken and the same pace would be continued in future too. Our expertise in carbon management and sustainable development is planned to be extended to the entire ONGC group of companies. The journey is continuous. The baton of leadership may change hands, but the resolve is unwavered. We are committed to continue our pursuit of sustainable growth and retain our leadership position in Indian corporate world.